Hi everybody, I'm back for a quick little video. And well, it might be quick because there might be some sped up section and some sections where I speak over the video. So I've just been working in my Boho Dory. Uh, it's a personal size, but it fits my B6 slim inserts. But it's Sunday and I had a couple of things that Amazon delivered today, which I mean, I know it said that they would deliver on Sunday, but you know, I didn't expect it. So we're kind of doing a little fun improv video. So let me set her aside. So I ordered a couple of things from Amazon and this is one of the first things that I ordered. You can see it is, I'll try to get rid of the glare, the um, Masters Brush Cleaner and Preserver. I wanted to get something to clean my brushes and I saw that Babette had been using this and I wanted to try it and I actually just tried it on one of my brushes that I use and it did such a good job. The bristles are feel smoother, they're cleaner. I had been using a lot of blue so um, it's nice to not have as much you know residual paint in there. But the main thing we're here for is I got this cute little set. It is the uh, Nevskaya Palitra, uh, which is the St. Petersburg brand, and this is their Bielich Nochi, which means it's the Nevskaya palette, extra fine artists, watercolors, 12 colors, white nights. I shared this palette. Here's my swatch card that I did of them. And except for those two, these are the 24 set. I do have a few um, individuals coming. I've got like a quinacridone, a couple of quinacridones and a couple of others. So um, there's that. But I wanted to have a little 12 set of the St. Petersburg to um, take with me when I'm out maybe at the laundromat or if I'm teaching and I've got some time in between students at the university. So it is in English on one side and you do see it is in Russian on one side. So here this side says White Nights, this side says Biele Nochi. Um, and so let's set that aside. But you can see it's this cute little white tin and this has, oh, they come with see a little card here. If you have Google Translate, you can translate it. And oh, it looks like they gave me two of them. They're the exact same thing. Basically, um, uh, informatio. Uh, it's talking about uh, the voda, water, basically how to use the watercolors. This is their contact information in Saint Petersburg. There, right there, it says Saint. It's S A N K T P Y T Y R B U R G. And then that Y L means Ulitsa. Ulitsa. And so that's the street, and there's a telephone. So there's that. But one thing that I love about Saint Petersburg and the, the Nevskaya Palitra and their watercolors is the swatch card is actually watercolor paper. So, um, here is the 12 colors in the palette and I will leave it down here and I will do some manual zoom in. So it's written in Russian, English, and it looks like German. So in the 12 set you have Cadmium Lemon, Cadmium Yellow Medium, Yellow Ochre, Cadmium Red Light, Carmine, Ultramarine, Bright Blue. Bright Blue isn't in the um, 24 pack. This is a different blue. I have other blues in there, but not that. Um, this is Emerald Green. This is Green. It says... Um, Zelionaya, which 
I think in one of my, in my other palette, well, maybe it said Zillow on my, uh, let me get that book out. Here. So there's also then Umber, Burnt Umber, and then Neutral Black. So in the 24 palette, it had Cadmium Lemon, Cadmium Yellow, Yellow Ochre, Gold, and which isn't in here, Titian Red, there's the Cadmium Red Light, uh, it had Red Ochre, which is a beautiful color, English Rose is beautiful, there's the Carmine, it's a beautiful pinky red, this one, Matter Lake Red Light is beautiful, Violet Ultramarine, and see it had Azure and Cobalt Blue and Indigo, those were the blues that it had. Um, there's the uh, Zelonia, yellowish green, emerald green. So what we're going to do is I am going to put them, here's all of the colors that they have. So these are full pans. I'll show you in here in my previous palette. And they didn't come in this palette, I put them in here. See, they're full pans. These are Daniel Smith half pans, but they come as a full pan. So here are the 12 colors that come in this cute little set by St. Petersburg, or the Nevskaya Palitra. So I got my Elmer's glue out, it looks like, and I'm going to make a you know nice chart of them in my watercolor book and you can see that they have them wrapped kind of like little chocolates there's like a wrapper and then there's this you know aluminium wrapped around that and they just look so cute when you take them out of the the little palette or out of the little wrapper okay so i jumped ahead just a little bit and i'm opening the green color right now <clears throat> and I probably should have been saying the names of the colors in Russian because I need to learn some of the color names in Russian. I only know your basic colors, you know, blue and green and yellow, not ultramarine. You know, those are colors that, you know, we didn't learn in school, or at least I didn't learn in school. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the camera so it doesn't kill the battery, but I'm going to put these down on here. Okay, so here I am using the Zen water brush, and I'm putting the first color down, which is Cadmium Lemon. It's such a beautiful, bright lemon. Now it looks like I'm going in towards the second color, which is Cadmium Yellow Medium. Again, another beautiful yellow. Then I decided, oops, maybe I should just, you know, put them on the little card at the same time as I put them in my book. <laughs> um, I, I think I'm talking about right here the colors that I've owned in the past. And I've my first set of watercolors that I ever purchased was that little Michaels palette. Um that had all of those really bright ones. Then my next palette that I got was the um, Gansai Tambi, or Tambai, Tambi, whatever, by um, Kura, the Kuratake. Then I got a couple of Prima palettes, and then after the Prima palettes, I decided to get some of the Jane Davenports. Actually, I got all three of the Jane Davenports. And then I saw a YouTube video, and someone was you know, talking about the the palettes by St. Petersburg. And I finally decided, you know, okay, I think I'm going to give those a try. But come to find out, Amazon <laughs> was already ahead of me because they had a little ad, you know, in the suggested items due to what I've purchased in the past. So that was how I got my first set of the uh, St. Petersburg, the 24 set. So, let's see. I've already put down 
the uh, yellow ochre, and I'm putting down the cadmium red light right now. And the next color is carmine, and that is a beautiful color. If you want to think of roses and other flowers, the, the granulation is wonderful. Um... I'm also, you know, I guess I'm talking here that, you know, I've, I'm only doing stuff I've seen other people do. I'm not a watercolor artist. I'm, this is, you know, I'm just dabbling into watercolors. I've never really, um, you know, I've never taken a class. I've decided that I will be taking a watercolor class. It'll be an online one just to, <clears throat> excuse me, to learn some of the basics about watercolors and... So I think what I might do is I might just turn down my talking so you can watch the rest of the colors. The water paper card that came with it, look at the intensity, like beautiful colors. And here's what they look like on... Um, you know, my Canson watercolor book that I got from... Let me grab a little bit more of that. Oop. I didn't get all the paint off my brush. <laughs> Imagine that. So that is what they look like on this um, Canson watercolor paper. Except maybe, like, I've done these beautiful colors with my St. Peterburg Biele Noci. Um. So I decided that I needed to actually put the watercolors on a paper that I normally use. And the paper that I normally use is what's in my, my traveler's notebook or my inserts. And this month I'm actually using a um, Midori branded and I you can see I jumped ahead and I'm in the middle of the greens and then we have the umber burnt umber and then the neutral black left beautiful colors oh and there I am I guess I've jumped to the black <laughs> beautiful beautiful color so that's what they look like on the card that came with it, which is watercolor paper. Here is what they look like on the Canson watercolor paper. Cadmium lemon, cadmium yellow medium, yellow ochre, cadmium red light, which is orangish red. There's carmine, ultramarine, bright blue, maybe thalo blue, emerald green or a thalo green, there is green, which is sometimes called Russian green, umber, burnt umber, and neutral and black. here is what they look like on Midori paper. Since, like, these two papers are, you know, very common papers, it's still a little wet. But see, look at the granulation in some of them. These are the St. Peterburg. I'll make sure I've got the English side up. The Nevskaya Palitra Extra Fine Artist Watercolors, 12 Colors, The White Knights. And I will find the link on Amazon. They're about $22 to $25, and you get uh, 12 full pans. So it's quite a good deal. If you have any questions, I will link them, the information down below so just ask away and I will answer what I can um, but I will also there I will link the St. Petersburg uh, watercolors web page as well because that does exist and you can print out all of those wonderful pages that I had in here okay thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye